Welcome back to For Real, something a little bit different for you today. People often ask us, what's your favourite restaurant in Siem Reap, or what's the best restaurant in Siem Reap? But the answer to that is not as simple as you might think. It really depends on what kind of food you want to eat. It's Monday today, so what I thought I'd do was take you to a different restaurant every day of the week this week, and show you some of our favourite things to eat around Siem Reap. Um, as you know, I work at This Life and it is situated on Tapple Road, which has a lot of restaurants on it. So three of the ones featured will be on Tapple Road and the other two are slightly further afield. This is going to be fun. I can't wait to show you some of our favourite places in Siem Reap. This is the outside of Try Me Restaurant on Tapple Road. And <laughs> as you can see, it's quite warm and sunny and there's no one else around at the moment. But that's how it is for most of the restaurants here in Siem Reap at the moment. Draft beer is 75 cents here. Given the comfy seats, I think that's a bargain. Here's a bit of a look at the rest of the Try Me restaurant. It's got some of the comfiest chairs you'll find in Siem Reap. Very, very nice. Very, very comfy. Very, very soft. So here it is. This is the chicken pad thai at Try Me restaurant on Tapple Road in Siem Reap. And it comes in at a very good $2.50 per serve. And William's got the same. I do indeed. Because this is the dish that we think is the standout of this restaurant. Easily the best value. Yes. There's other nice stuff here, but it's, it's disproportionately more expensive. Exactly. Do you want to be in the video? I can be if you want me to be in the video. Hello. There's William. I'm in the video and now. And his pad thai. And You're pad in the video thai. now. There you go. <laughs> So it's Tuesday, time for lunch again. Standing outside this life, place of employment on Tapple Road. So today we're just gonna swing around here and could go to my little cafe, but that's probably gonna be another day. Today it's Vietnamese. It's the little shop to the left of my little cafe. Um, yeah, good spot for lunch. Here it is, the beef fur. This is the regular size, not the large size. Um, strange thing is it has big chunks of carrot and broccoli in it. It's a very tasty bowl of food for lunch. And as you can see, the medium size there is 10,000 and the large is 12. So 10,000 is uh, the equivalent of $2.50. Okay, it's Wednesday and the restaurant of choice, a little bit further away than the previous two days, over the other side of the river near Wat Demnak, and we're here at Wild. So in case you don't know about Wild, it's um, a place that specialises in spring rolls, so pretty much all of their food menu is spring rolls. Very interesting and um, a lot more special than you might think. So it has a lovely garden setting, as you can see. They're very good at the um, temperature taking and the sanitization. You can sit on the ground, those nice areas that they've got set up there. You can sit over there. They've got a little upstairs area. It's all very nice. We'll go over here, find Jeremy. So here's the menu. Um, Wild is a finger food restaurant and a cocktail bar. We are specialised in spring rolls, like really, really specialised. <laughs> they say that you need um, two plates of spring rolls for a big meal, but I find that one of them is enough. So they have a selection that are either deep fried or fresh. And I only get, ever get one thing here and it's the Caesar salad spring rolls. Um, I never thought a spring roll could taste like a Caesar salad, but it does, and it's just incredible. Okay, so Jeremy's going to get some potato things as well, I think, and we'll show you those when they arrive. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the music from the funeral is pretty pervasive even over here, but it's quite nice. It's what you get. It's Cambodia. Learn to love it. Here they are, these are the amazing Caesar salad spring rolls. They're full of parmesan, bacon, all the good stuff. And they got the dressing, a bit of dressing on top, but then on the side here, there's another little bowl of dressing. So you can dip them in there and then dip them into the breadcrumbs. And they are amazing. Jeremy's also got 
some potato bits to go with. So yeah, um, the Caesar salad spring rolls are $3.50 per serve. How much are the potatoes? Three. And the potatoes there are $3. I'm not the only one who thinks it's lunchtime. So noisy. Okay, it's Thursday. Going a little bit further afield today. Let's go. So we're here at the venue for lunch today on the riverside in Siem Reap. Nice and leafy and shady. And it's a little street cart called Green Kitchen Cafe. Green kitchen cart, I should have said. Not cafe, cart. So this is the vegan salad noodle and it costs 5,000 real or $1.25. But the star of the show is the um, extra oh, the baby, stuff. The little baby. <laughs> A basket of Moses's vegetables or herbs, flowers, water, hyacinth. water, water what? hyacinth. That's um, uh, lily stem. Water, 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 lily stem. Some kind of bitter something or else. Um, that there's snake bean. We've got uh, like uh, shallot or. Uh, That's coriander onion. there too, I think. Uh, the coriander? Coriander maybe. Or is it the evil fish herb? Oh no, that's fish herb there. Yeah. Oh, that's I, it's just so much. And there's lettuce over here too. Oh wow, that's huge. You can try add this. all of that to your this. bowl of noodles. Ooh. It's amazing. Ooh. Okay, in the interests of the YouTube video, Jeremy is going to try There's different things on here. The stem. The stem? This is the water the water lily stem. Hmm. Tastes like celery. Does it? No, oh, I'll steer clear of it then. <laughs> it's got the cross section of it is quite strange. Yeah, it's got it's uh, you know it's the same. It's yeah. hollow. Yeah, it's hollow. You think it'd be um slimy but it's not it's really nice and crunchy mm, it's kind we'll of stringy we'll try this flower try the flower it's very pretty flower the whole flower just get it in there no, yep no, done no, eat it sick of, no, no, no. eat the flower let's have a flower <laughs> how's the flower for you earthy <laughs> pollen -y. not much taste what else bring you um we'll have those... some of this stuff Whatever that stuff is. Yes. Got it? <laughs> I know which one's bitter. Ooh, 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 holy, holy joy, that is bitter. <laughs> that is very hard. <laughs> 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 Not for you. Holy, oh, that's bitter. Oh. oh, wow. Oh. But after you eat and eat and taste it. Oh, yeah. I think it tastes the, nothing after it. Uh, together <laughs> with the noodle and everything. Okay. Yeah. It, it complements you eating noodle. Not, not by not, itself. Not by itself, no. <laughs> no. Are um, you done? What else have we got here? I think that's coriander. Parsley. Oh. I think. I think that's fish herb. I don't like that. Steer clear of that boy. And there's um beans. Beans. Yeah. I don't want to touch really because I A knot to... of beans. I don't think you use it all, it's really weird. I don't know. Okay. Alright, let's yeah. eat. Yeah, that's that was that's nice. Hmm. Unusual. The flour, nah, that no. No. <laughs> but that is bitter. How good does this bowl of food look? So it's a cold noodle dish, it's like a noodle salad. It's got lots of herbs, um, rice noodles, tofu, cucumber, herbs, peanuts. Yeah, lots of um, lots of tastes and textures going on there. Mm. Very nice. Here's the menu here: vegan curry noodle, vegan salad noodle, eggs over here, beef tripe salad. Curry noodle, Khmer noodle, curry with bread, fried chicken with rice.
finally it's Friday and lunchtime again. Today we're going just across the road to my little cafe and Jeremy is over there already waiting for us. This is my choice. It's the lab chicken today for three dollars. This is the fish and ginger with rice. How much is that? And soybeans, rice and soybeans and ginger um, and red bits. Um, it's uh, three dollar fifty. Wow. And it's delicious. Nice. Regular Friday treat. This is my lab with chicken. There's the star of the show in the middle and it comes with a serve of um, cucumber is the word I'm looking for. Carrot and beans. <laughs> and it's absolutely delicious. This is honey chicken. That's like absolutely. Really this is $3. Very, very nice. Good stuff. Honey chicken. Best honey chicken in um, CM Ray Oregon. Wow, steak and mash. How much steak does that cost? This was expensive. This is six dollars. Wow, looks good though. Expensive. Yeah, very nice. I'll just do a quick wrap up of the prices again. So, chicken pad thai on Monday from Try Me was two dollars fifty. The fur from the Vietnamese across the road was two dollars fifty on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we had spring rolls and they were three dollars fifty. The noodle salad um, on the riverside on Thursday was a dollar twenty-five. And the lab chicken on Friday was $3. So that brings the total for lunches for the week to $12.75. A lot of the time I actually come home for lunch during the week, but just um, thought I'd do lunch out every day of the week just to show you the different kind of variety that you can get around Siem Reap and how good the value is for the food here as well. Let us know in the comments which of those you think would be the nicest, which you'd most like to try yourself. And if you have recommendations for other places that you think we should try, give them a shout out and we'll aim to do that as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching. Check the links down below for all the social media and everything else. There's links to the other YouTubers tubing here in Siem Reap and Cambodia and lots of other good stuff that you might be interested in having a look at. See you in the next one. Bye.